You might know her as a fashion designer for Troll 2 the movie, and of course as um, Black Emmanuel. Uh, really? I've already said she's probably one of the most beautiful women who grace the earth. So let's look at 10 things that you might not know about the model slash actress and wife, Laura Gimser. She was born in Indonesia. Her family moved to the Netherlands later due to the conflict of communists and Islam. Well, what a pair. That might have been interesting, but good for her family to move out. Laura attended Artibus Art School. Laura attended Artibus Art School to study fashion and was discovered as a model there. She went to school to study fashion and some photographer said, WTF, you need to be on magazines. She appeared on the cover of Playmen. Playmen is an Italian erotic men's magazine and she was on the cover five times. She starred in her first film, Amore Libero, meaning free love. It was an Italian production shot on the gorgeous French island and described as an erotic adventure film. It was considered tame compared to her later films. Despite its mediocrity, the movie did the trick and got Laura noticed. Perhaps unaware of what she was in for, she moved to Italy to pursue her newfound acting career. Her first Emmanuel film was from the French Emmanuel series Emmanuel 2, and when she played a frisky masseuse, she's quoted as saying, I wanted to be a model. I was still a little girl. I came to Italy specifically to shoot Amor Liberale because someone was impressed by my photographs and therefore made contact with my agency. Even the part I did later in Emmanuel 2 was born because the director, Francis, was a photographer with whom I already made several nude and fashion shoots. I remember the day when he asked me if I wanted to do a part in the film he was going to make Emmanuel 2 and I replied, why not? And now for our sponsor. Be sure to click on below for our 10 day course on how to make money on OnlyFans. We will teach you how to be hot and look good and how to take money from idiots who know that Pornhub is free. Now back to our regular program. She was a cast in Black Emmanuel because the director saw her a tourism poster. That's right, Lord Gimser was discovered by the director of Black Emmanuel because the director, Bito Albertini, had seen her on a poster at a travel agency in Kenya. Easy lions, only in Kenya. And fell in love with her good looks. She was married to her husband until the day he died. Gabrielle Tinti was an Italian B actor and Laura and him married in 1976 and she stayed with him until the day he died. Although he was older than her, the marriage seemed to work out. She refused to do the hardcore stuff. Laura was asked by Albertini to do some racy hardcore stuff like a gangbang with jocks, but Laura refused. In the end, she was replaced by a stand. Any excuse is good to get naked. I saw the one, the first Emmanuel, because I was curious. But then I felt bad because I didn't expect to see. I uh, refused a lot of scenes. They put in a stand in and I didn't know. So when I saw the movie, I felt rather bad. There was a scene in a train, I think it was. She was making love with the whole football team. I don't remember, but I refused that scene and they refused stand ins. And I don't know what are the scenes. I forgot, really, I forgot. She tried to go mainstream by changing her name in 1983. Laura would star in a made for TV movie, Love is Forever, directed by Michael Landon. And they wanted to change her name, the production and director, to Maura Chen. She is quoted as saying, This was at the behest of the director and the production. They didn't want my erotic past to connect with the film, which was a story for the whole family. So they gave me the name of Maura Chen. But it didn't help because everyone wrote Maura Chin is Laura Gimser. Paul Bartlett, the director, was an American who wanted to change my life. It was a little bit nasty. He was a moralizer. It forced me to deny even in the face of evidence. When in Thailand people said to me, are you Laura Gimser? I had to say, no, no, I'm Maura Chin. It was embarrassing. She starred in a workout video. After her days of Black Emmanuel, she would do a workout video directed by Dick Randall. It could be borderline softcore porn, but hey, we'll get you going in the morning if you want to get some exercise done. So tell me if you like this way of presenting the B-Cyclopedia by subscribing, liking, and comment below. And you guys have to your daddy. Be the envy of your friends. Wear the sexy cosplay t-shirt. Wear it on a podcast. Wear it to convention. It's comfortable. Heck, even sleep in it. Your girlfriend will love it. You will love it. Click on the link below and get your sexy cosplay t-shirt shipped to you.